Hello there, good afternoon. I hope everyone has survived. Monday back from the holiday weekend, Motivation Monday we call it. So I hope everyone has had a great day. Say hello if you're on so I can see you. Anyway, I thought I would pop on live for a couple of things. One uh, was a question that came, I think, from Steph, but somebody else too. A couple of people were asking, uh, what am I going to do with all these Easter eggs? Great question with a lot of answers. And I made some notes because I had to think about it because there's so many things that you can do with hard-boiled eggs. And, you know, honestly, it's a healthy the food. So that's great. Don't waste them. Let's make some good use of it. But I know a lot of people were coloring Easter eggs this year. Um, I don't know, just a fun thing to do. It's a tradition. And then you have hard boiled eggs afterward, right? So um, several things with those Easter eggs. One, if you haven't been making potato salad with hard boiled eggs in it, definitely that's a must. I mean, potato salad, it's kind of a treat. You know, it's a little heavy. We got the carbs, we got the mayonnaise in there going on, but uh, the hard boiled eggs in the potato salad really take it up another level. I usually mix several mashed up hard boiled eggs in the potato salad and then some slices on top with some paprika and it's superb. People come to your barbecue and want seconds on the potato salad before seconds on the barbecue. It's so delicious. So. That's one thing you may have already thought of. Now, I know we think first off of egg salad, and so do I. I love egg salad, but um, let's think outside the box on egg salad, right? So I think a typical egg salad, mashed up hard boiled eggs, of course, maybe some very finely chopped celery and red onion, mayonnaise, salt, and pepper. That's kind of like your basic egg salad recipe, right? But uh, there's so much you can do to um, kind of amp that up. And one of my favorites is a curried egg salad. I challenge you to make this. It's so delicious. Um, this one has celery in it. Chop it a little on the coarse side. You want kind of like chunks of celery. It has unsweetened raisins in it. The same mayonnaise uh, ratio that you would normally have. I don't go too crazy on the mayonnaise. And you're gonna put curry powder in there to taste, a little salt and some black pepper. And that curried egg salad, I'm telling you, it's filling uh, for some reason. It's very rich and it just really takes egg salad up another level. You can eat that in a nice lettuce wrap, delicious, or on some whole grain bread. Uh, spread it on um, a pita or flat bread and it is absolutely delicious. It has so much flavor. So think outside the box on the egg salads. Um, another good add-in is uh, mustard on the egg salad, and that makes it really delicious. Another way to make a good egg salad that has a lot of pretty color is to very finely chop some radishes in there, and it gives some peppery flavor, and it, it gives it some color and just makes it a little bit different. So those are a couple of egg salad ideas. Now just general salads, so many ways to use those eggs. They go pretty much on any salad. But some of the traditional salads that always call for hard boiled eggs would be a Cobb salad, Niçoise salad, one of my favorites. Uh, that's the uh, tuna, green beans, hard boiled eggs, um, red onion, tomato over spinach with a vinaigrette. Delicious salad, one of my favorites. Make one this week while you have those eggs. Um, so let's see, deviled eggs, of course. We always think of deviled eggs. Lots of variations on those. Um, typically, the mashed egg yolk is mixed with a little bit of mayo, uh, but you can add mustard for a really nice flavor. One of my favorite deviled eggs is the, um, the Primal Kitchen Chipotle Mayo instead of straight up mayo. Really good deviled eggs with that. Really delicious, okay? Another is to do your, your typical mayonnaise combo and a few drops of sriracha per egg. Delicious, really kicks it up. Uh, one of my favorite ways 
growing up that we had deviled eggs. They would have a little bit of paprika on the top. Of course, you have to go real careful just to get it on the yellow. And um, take a green uh, olive with pimento, have it, and, and put that on top of each one. Um, the salty, briny olive with the creamy egg is a delicious combination. So another uh, topping for hard-boiled eggs that I like are capers, or, you know I'm gonna say this, everything's better with bacon. So if you have some bacon bits that you can crumble, real bacon, and then crumble into small pieces of cooked bacon, you don't need a lot. Like each egg needs like two or three little bits, and that makes a really delicious bite. And then one of the really fun things to do with deviled eggs is not to use mayonnaise, but to use mashed avocado. Mash it really well with a fork and, uh, you know, get it kind of creamy as if it were the mayo and mix that in the egg. And it looks really cool because <laughs> you've got these kind of green deviled eggs, very flavorful, and it's just a nice touch. You can garnish that with a little bit of sorrento, uh, serrano peppers or maybe some cilantro um, just to make it even more interesting. So that's one. Another thing you can do if you like your food, spicy foods is to make um, an egg salad and stuff large jalapenos with it. Just have the pickled jalapeno hollow out the, um, the seeds on the pith. You can leave the stem on to hold it together. Very careful, don't touch your eyes while you're doing all this. And fill that with egg salad. That is a delicious bite. And it's a great uh, kind of like an hors d'oeuvre or appetizer uh, for people who like something spicy. I love it. Um, and it would make a nice snack, okay? Wash your hands after handling those peppers though. Please, please, please be careful. Okay, moving on with our eggs. Um, Asparagus is delicious with some hard boiled egg crumbled on top or slices that's hot or cold. Um, as far as the asparagus goes, one of the better food combinations that I can think of. Um, you can also uh, run your hard boiled egg through a slicer and put that on some avocado toast with a sprinkle of everything but the bagel seasoning. Really good, okay, that's a good uh, choice there. If you'd rather put something a little spicy with a little tartness on that same avocado toast with sliced eggs, try some tahini and that would be delicious as well. Another way to use hard boiled eggs would be to have a continental breakfast which would consist of some hard, a hard boiled egg or two, maybe some sliced meats like ham or turkey and coffee. So just kind of another way to enjoy them. A little salt and pepper and you're good to go. Um, crumble on any salad, I already said that. Make a breakfast salad. Who's doing that? Have you seen some of my breakfast salads? I love them. So a couple of hard boiled eggs on top of spinach and arugula or dark greens that you like. Maybe some shredded beets. Um, some red onions, some tomatoes, crumbled bacon is good or anything you have and eggs and a nice lemon vinaigrette and that is a breakfast salad and it's really good, um, healthy way to start the day with some veggies. Um, another way to enjoy those hard boiled eggs, I took notes. <laughs> um, I just sat there brainstorming of all the ways I like eggs or have done. Um, take flatbread, lay some avocado, arugula, or greens that you like, and the, the sliced hard-boiled eggs, garnish that with a little seasoning, and that would make a really nice lunch, um, or cut it into smaller wedges as a kind of appetizer. One of the fun things to do, I don't know if you've ever tried this, but um, peel a couple of hard-boiled eggs, and then soak them in the juice from a jar of pickled red beets. You follow me? So if you have a jar of pickled red beets, it comes with that you know, pickle juice and it's red. So take the peeled whole eggs, put them in that jar and let them soak overnight. Then the next day when you cut those eggs in half, they're gonna be pink all around the perimeter and still the normal on the inside. Really cool. Very good. So you have like a pickled egg 
that you can put on top of a nice uh, bed of lettuce and a few other veggies maybe and it makes a good lunch but it makes a beautiful presentation that I think you'll really get excited about. Um, kale Caesar is one of uh, the recipes that I like. Chopped up eggs, kale, and uh, you make a vinaigrette, a Caesar type vinaigrette with that and some shaved Parmesan cheese. Delicious, very filling. Add some cooked chicken to that and you really have a meal. Okay, um, let's see. Use on asparagus, I already said that. Breakfast, travel snacks, it's kind of a no-brainer. They they have their own container, they can t you can take them with you. They keep pretty well um, as long as you don't open them. So if you're going to take your eggs traveling, don't peel it and it'll keep for you. Uh, crumble on salad, breakfast salad, I already said that. Okay, so those are my egg ideas. I'd love to hear yours and I'd love to know what you're doing with your eggs, but I hope that gives you a way to use the eggs you made for Easter um, and, and you may be ending up having to boil more if you try to make all of those things, but we'll see how it goes for you. I uh, do keep those hard boiled eggs in the refrigerator until you're using them and they should keep for you through the week, but I would definitely get going on using those up.